How to make the new year your healthiest year ever. Hi, this is Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy, and I want to share with you five tips on how you can make the new year your healthiest year ever. If this year you have not been feeling too great and you want to look good, you want to feel good, and overall you just want to be better in better condition, this is the video for you. So stay tuned to the end. I will share with you, aside from that five tips, I will share with you a bonus tip that will help you be able to make that happen. So let's dive right into it. Number one is I want you to think of it this way. You want to be healthier physically, but aside from that, number one, first and foremost, you have to be healthy up here. You have to be healthy mentally. So the first tip that I want to share with you will be to have a grateful mindset, to express gratitude. And when do you do that? They have what they call bookends. So it's the morning and then the end of the day. So the beginning and the end of the day. Now, if you cannot do twice, then at least stick with just one, right? That's what I like to do. Morning, I wake up and I want to recall or call to mind what is something that I'm grateful for. I actually uh, call to mind three things that I'm grateful for. If you, three is if you're not used to it, and three you can come up with three, then at least start with one. Recall to mind what is something that you're grateful for, either either during that day or the day before, or even long time ago. Just get something that you're grateful for, and then also at the end of the day, recall to mind what actually happened during that day and what is something that you're grateful for. At the beginning, I know it may not be easy, but there is something, if you look, if you think hard enough, there is something during that day that happened that you are grateful for. Even if it's a small thing, we can be thankful for that. All right, so that's tip number one. Number two, I want you to exercise. How often? I want you to exercise five days a week. That's what I would recommend. Now, if five days is a little too much for you with your schedule as you try to figure that out, then at least start with three days a week. Then work up to your five days a week because once a week, it will not be enough. Three to five will be good. That's why I recommend five days a week. Now, how long are the exercises? What kind of exercises? I don't want you to, to get trapped into in too many things and dive into the weed too much, get lost in the weeds. I don't want you to do that because then that will paralyze you. That will not make you take action. That will not make you go into doing that exercise. So just start with something simple, something that you're able to do, something that you can commit to doing it every day for five days in a week. You start with that. Start, you can start with 10 minutes, then go to 15 and go to 30 minutes. That way, if you're able to do it, then you're able to keep it steady and then you'll be able to do it week after week after week. All right, so that's number two is exercise. Number three, avoid sugar. Sugar that includes soda, that includes your pastries, that includes your energy drink. And if you're drinking coffee, I want you to drink your coffee black or you can put honey if you want some sweetness to it. Because sugar gets the body in a state of inflammation. And also, sugar, too much sugar in the body will slow down your healing. And that's why people with diabetes, they don't heal as well. Right? So, I want you to avoid sugar. Number four, I want you to avoid dead animal products. Because dead animal products get your body in a state of inflammation also. And that includes milk and that includes yogurt. Instead of regular cow's milk, I recommend taking almond milk or soy milk. Now cheese, cheese is okay. Uh, you can take cheese, but milk and yogurt, I want you to avoid. Now when I say avoid dead animal products, I'm not telling you to be vegetarian. So here's what I want you to do. Imagine your, your plate. You, I want you to follow the 80-20 rule. So that means 80% will be your veggies. That's very important. Uh, your carbs. That will be good. And fish is very healthy for you. So I want that to be your 80%. And the 20% will be your meat, which is chicken, pork, or beef. I want that to be your 20%. Right? 
Okay, so you follow that 80-20 rule because most of the time when our, with the American standard American diet, it's the other way around. We consume a lot of meat. So I want you to avoid that. I want you to turn it around. And number five is I want you to not ignore your pain. Okay, I'm not telling you to be focusing on your pain every day. I'm not telling you to be, oh, where, where does it hurt today? I'm, I'm not telling you to do that, all right? You don't want to be a hypochondriac and you don't want to be focusing too much on your pain. Now, what I want you to do is when you feel something, when you feel pain, you have to observe that. You have to be mindful of it because way too often i see patients coming into the clinic and when i ask them when did their pain start they tell me it's either a few months ago some even few years ago before they start seeking help and my rule there is if your pain doesn't go away in one week it's not going to go away on its own it's time to actually seek help so that keep keep that in mind all right so do not ignore your pain because when the condition or the injury is new, it's more acute, it's easier to treat. Chronic conditions are harder to treat. So the body adjusts already and it's hard to heal. It's harder to heal from that. Right? Now, those are five tips that I want you to follow to be to make this year, the new year, your healthiest year ever. Oh, I don't want to forget. What's that bonus tip? That bonus tip that I want to share with you is I want you to, this is not very popular because it's not easy to do, but this is very healthy. I want you to try taking cold showers because a cold shower, I know when I say that, a lot of people tell me they have the old, old wives tale of when you take cold shower, you're going to get sick. That exactly, that is just not true. You get sick when you have viruses and bacteria, infections, you're not going to get sick because of the cold, cold shower. Now, because it's not, un it's, not, it's not comfortable, so a lot of people don't like it. So I want you to try it. Why the benefits of cold shower are, one, you can get improved circulation. Two, it will boost your immune system. And it will give you tighter skin, more glowing hair. So all those things, you're going to be healthier and you are, you're, gonna, you're going to feel better and look better also. Right? So those are things that I want you to do. Those are all in all six tips that I want you to try to make the new year your healthiest year ever. Let me know which ones you're going to try. Put them in the comments below. I would love to know which ones you're going to try. Are you going to try one of them? Are you going to try all of them? If you don't want to get overwhelmed, at least try one and then just increase. I want to know also, is it too hard for you? Are those tips too hard for you? Do you not want to do any of them? And then let me know how I can help you to try get on track with that. All right. So if you think this is helpful, definitely share this. And you know anyone who wants to make the new year the healthiest year ever also for them, they want to be in better health, please share this with them so that you can help them get healthier, not only physically, but even mentally as well, which is, which is key. All right. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate your time for watching this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you can be alerted when we release new videos every week. Thank you very much, guys, and appreciate you.